Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn the Cramer's rule for solving a system of equations. This would be the last topic on determinants. What exactly is Cramer's rule? Cramer's rule says that if we are given a system of equations to be solved, the first thing we do is we form the determinant. And if my determinant is non-zero, then Let's say we are finding the variables x, y, z. So if I'm finding the variable x, I will replace its coefficients, the whole column, by the right hand side. Let's say that a determinant is d, which has to be non zero. Now, if we denote the determinant which has been formed by replacing the coefficients by the right hand side by d star. Then the variable which we are finding is nothing but d star by the determinant d. This we do for all the variables. Let's do some examples. Here in the first example we are given a system in two variables x and y and we will use Cramer's rule to solve it. The first thing we do is find the determinant and see whether it is non-zero or not. You can see the determinant value comes out to be minus 9 which is not equal to 0. Next what we do is we will form a determinant dx which we do by replacing the coefficients of x by the right hand side. So 2 and 1 have been replaced by 9 and 3. And we take the y coefficients as it is. Now you see this comes out to be minus 33. Let's find the other determinant where we would be replacing the coefficients of y. So 2 and 1, the coefficients of x remain as it is and we'll replace 5 and minus 2 by the right hand side and find the value of the determinant. This would be 6 minus 9 which is minus 3. So we have both our dx and dy and the determinant we can now find our x and y. What will be x? x would be dx by d, which is nothing but minus 33 by minus 9, the determinant. This gives us 11 by 3 as the x value. And y value would be dy by d, which is nothing but minus 3 by minus 9 and that is nothing but 1 by 3. Now this is our solution x y is 11 by 3 comma 1 by 3. If you want to check whether your solution is correct or not you can substitute x is 11 by 3 and y is 1 by 3 in your given equations and see whether you get the right hand side or not. So here I have substituted in equation 1 and equation 2 both x and y and we get the right hand side. So our solution is correct. Come to the second example. Here the system is x plus y plus z is equal to 3, x minus y plus z is 2 and minus x plus y minus z is equal to 1. We have three equations and three variables. Now, we have to find the solution. So the first thing we'll do is find whether my determinant is non-zero or not. And when I use the Seru's method, I see that my determinant value comes out to be zero. So this system cannot be solved using Cramer's rule. At the end, I'll tell you what are the disadvantages of Cramer's rule. Let's come to another example. We will again First check whether our determinant is non-zero or not. So when we use the Seru's method for the determinant, you can see that the determinant value comes out to be 4, which is non-zero. Let's now find our determinants dx, dy and dz. To find dx, I have replaced the first column 2 minus 1 3 by the right hand side 
1 to 0. You can see dx becomes 1 to 0, 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 1 minus 1. When I use the Serous method, I get the determinant value to be 4. Next, we will replace the coefficients of y and our coefficients of y are nothing but 1 minus 1, 1. So 1 minus 1, 1 have been replaced by the right hand side 1, 2, 0 you can see here. Again when we use the Serous method you will find that your dy value comes out to be minus 8. Come to the third determinant dz. Here first two columns are the same. Third column has been replaced by the right hand side 1 to 0. And when we use the Serous method to find the determinant, we find its value to be 4. So now x is nothing but dx by d, which is 4 by 4 as determinant value was 4. And we found dx to be 4. x comes out to be 1. y will be dy by d, which is minus 8 by 4 that comes out to be minus 2 and in the same way z which is dz by d comes out to be 1. So our x, y, z are 1 minus 2, 1. Kramer's rule has certain limitations. It gives a solution only when the number of variables is the same as the number of equations. And what if we have infinite solutions? We cannot find them using this method. Thank you for watching. Our next video will be on functions. For detailed notes and practice problems, you can visit my website profpritibajpay.com.